Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question on voltage dividers. Calculating the current in a series circuit containing two resistors and the voltage across one of them. Here's a question from the 2010 Intermediate 2 paper. A student sets up the following circuit. Part A then asks us to calculate the current in the 8 ohm resistor. Now, the important thing here is that it's a series circuit, which means that the current is the same at all points. So whether we're being asked for the current in the 8 ohm resistor, or the current in the 24 ohm resistor, or the total current in the circuit, we get the same answer. Also, the current in a series circuit depends on the total resistance of the circuit. Let's make more space to work out the answer. The first step, then, is to calculate the total resistance in the circuit. We'll call the 8 ohm resistor R1 and the 24 ohm resistor R2. Total resistance in a series circuit is calculated using this equation. RT equals R1 plus R2. That gives us 8 plus 24, which is 32 ohms. Next, we use Ohm's law, V equals IR, to calculate current I. VS is the supply voltage, which is 6 volts here, and RT is the total resistance in the circuit, 32 ohms. If we divide each side by RT, then we get current I as the subject of the equation. All we have to do now is substitute our supply voltage and total resistance into this equation, giving us 6 divided by 32, which equals 0 0.1875 amps. Written to two significant figures, that's 0 0.19 amps. Here's part B of the question. Calculate the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. So I'll show you two ways to work this out. The first is to just use Ohm's law again. Beforehand, we saw that the total voltage, i.e. the supply voltage, was equal to the current multiplied by the total resistance. Here, though, we can calculate the voltage across one resistor by multiplying the current by the resistance of that single resistor. So the voltage across resistor R1, which we're calling voltage V1, is just current I times R1. That gives us 0 0.19 times 8, which is 1.5 volts. The second method is to use this equation. At least, that's how it appears in the relationship sheet. In this form, it would allow us to work at voltage V2, which is the voltage across the resistor R2. You basically divide R2 by the total resistance R1 plus R2, then multiply by the supply voltage Vs. We can change this equation slightly to work out voltage V1, the voltage across resistor R1. So voltage V1 is equal to R1 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2, multiplied by the supply voltage. Substituting our values into the equation gives us this, 8 divided by 8 plus 24 times 6, which again is 1.5 volts. This arrangement of 2 in this case, or more resistors in series, is called a voltage divider, and it's important to remember that voltage splits in series. The voltage across the 8 ohm resistor is 1.5 volts, which means that the voltage across the 24 ohm resistor must be 6 minus 1.5 equals 4.5 volts. See, both voltages add up to the supply voltage of 6 volts. Notice also that the resistor with the greatest resistance has the greatest voltage across it. In fact, resistor R2's resistance of 24 ohms is 3 times as large as resistor R1's, which is 8 ohms. The same can be said about the voltages. Voltage V2, which is 4.5 volts, is 3 times greater than voltage V1, which is 1.5 volts. Now, we don't have to use the equation in this question, but voltages V1 and V2 are linked to resistances R1 and R2, like so. You don't need to remember this either, because it's also found in the relationship sheet. On to the last part of the question. Part C says, the 24 ohm resistor is replaced by one of greater resistance. How will this affect the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor? Explain your answer. Now we saw earlier that we could use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage across R1, the 8 ohm resistor. It was calculated by multiplying the current times R1. So how would replacing the 24 ohm resistor affect the current in the circuit? We could use this equation to find out. Well, the supply voltage hasn't changed, so replacing the 24 ohm resistor with one of greater resistance will increase the total resistance in the circuit, meaning that current will decrease. What does that mean for voltage V1? Well, the value of R1 hasn't changed. It's still 8 ohms. So with a lower current in the circuit, voltage V1, the voltage across the 8 ohms resistor, would reduce. And that's our answer. The voltage across the 8 ohm resistor would decrease 
since the current in the circuit would decrease. And so, sadly, another video comes to an end. If you've enjoyed this one, and why wouldn't you, then please spread the word about the channel. The more subscribers, the merrier. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.